Let's head over to the next summon point, shall we? Let us continue on. Can I break these? Yeah, I can. It do be 100 this way, but it also do be up a cliff, maybe? Can I go down this pipe? Does this pipe lead into the mountain, or...? Nope. <laughs> Uh, hmm. How do we think we're getting to that marker then? What are we saying? There's the next tower right there. Aha! Or not a half? Is there a way down or not a half? Am I missing something? Oh. I guess you can't get down from here. Hmm. Maybe I need to go around there. the car to do that. But I can go up top. Does this just lead to the next cactus or thing? Hello. Where did you go? I saw it for a moment and it vanished. Can we climb up this? <laughs> really? You can't climb up this little step cloud. Are you sure about that? You cannot ride the buggy here. The buggy is literally what is required to get through here. What are you what are you talking about? I guess I was just too close to the water to summon it? Spring down here. Okay, I didn't expect it to be this far. Is this one on the map? No, oh, it is now. I don't know if it was before. Bum, bum. I found something for you to dig up, Cloud. Cloud. Upon analyzing the data from the life spring, I was able to locate a new transmuter chip. That's the crazy. The chip can be found in a village abandoned due to desertification. 
this because the village turned into a dessert. And eventually, mm. the entire village Very tasty. Will be swallowed by the sands. Do try to collect the chip before that happens. Ah, that's the place. I knew that was going to be a thing. We've been there uh, after Costa del Sol before we went anywhere further. Now, I believe I saw a way up. I don't know if it's actually... It might be quicker to call the buggy for this, but whatever. The animation for getting in and getting out of the buggy takes too long, IMO. Makes me not want to summon it. <laughs> I believe I saw a way to climb up just on top of this hill. I feel like they should have... Because, like, you know you know the way... Let me just show you. You know, you know the way that I get in the buggy? And it makes me, like, get in and get out slowly. But then everyone else, like, watch them just appear. They disappear and appear in the buggy, right? Just make that how I get out of the buggy, you know? Just make it that quick. Just have me disappear from the buggy and reappear outside. Because if everyone else is going to disappear and reappear in the other place, then it's not... It's not, you're not doing it for realism. Because if you were doing it for realism, then everyone would climb out and everyone would climb in. So if we're just, if we're happy to have everyone else on the team just fucking vanish and reappear, like very, very noticeably and obviously, then just do it for Cloud as well. Just have it that when you press the button, you just dismount instantly and you're all good, you know? Sanctuaries contain knowledge of the summoned entity Alexander. Long ago, a great but wicked nation prospered in Corel. Legend tells that it was wiped out overnight by a giant mechanical construct. A construct called Alexander. I wonder what the reasoning behind them naming it Alexander was. Like way back when the first Alexander was introduced to Final Fantasy. What was the what was the law behind that? I have no idea. Yeah, I don't actually know which game was the first to have Alexander in it. I don't know. But I have fought and defeated Alexander before. Oh boy. Square, circle, circle, square, circle, circle. Okay. So the difference is the first one begins just before the quarter mark, whereas the second one begins two points before the quarter mark. So square, circle, circle, and then we let it go to about halfway between half and quarter, and then it's square, circle, circle again. Okay.
clapping. Feels like we only just got party level 6 and it's already halfway to 7. Excellent work. I hope we can procure data from other crystals as well. God, I love this music. Oh, 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 oh. Very cool. Very, very cool. Now, is there a... Hello, Sandy boy. You over there now? Is there a quick way down? Can I heat myself off to this? Or are you going to make me go the long way? the long way out. <laughs> Alright. So, next. Next, I guess, we go here. Which is probably worth calling the car for. this was a dead end. Can't jump in, so where the fuck's the other chest? Uh. Oh, right there. <laughs> I thought they had to be through the door. Never mind. Let's. Okay. Direction I'm facing. Which is like this way, so it's out here. Let's put a tentative point there and go driving, I guess. This is very craggy. What on earth? Hello. I don't want to pick a fight with you. Okay, destination reach. Let's see. Tentative point. How are we doing? We are doing right up there. Okay, so probably up here then. Nice. I would say that is a pretty solid uh, guess then on my part of where to put the tentative point.
Here it is. Right here. Lovely. Golden ones this time. Are they any different? They are different. They've poisoned me, motherfuckers. Allow me. Okay, they're not actually different. <laughs> he doesn't want to be forced into the fight Ladies again. First. Oh no, you're way better at the whole putting yourself in harm's way thing. Fine. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Ha! <laughs> Get fucked. Why? Me? Word of advice? Don't fight it. Yes, hear the voice of experience. Oh, it'll be your turn next, Red. What did I do to deserve this? <laughs> Let's head back to the reactor. Return to the modular, modular reactor. Okay, uh, can we fast travel? Not really, huh? I think it would still be faster to fast travel to here and drive over there than it would be to go from where we currently are. Because going from where we currently are involves climbing down all the rocks and everything. Whereas this way... We could just zoom zoom. Sandy boy. Okay, who's the challenge going to be for this time? Took you long enough. What do you say? Want to jump right into your second trial? You know okay, they got point is. values still, so it is going to be similar, I guess. Do I ever? But to you? Oh, hello. Let's see who looks fit to fight. Me! Can I give it a go? <laughs> Fine by me. Really? If the little lady wants to show off, I say let her. Aerith's trial introduces two new species of cactors, Lightors and Darkors. Press left trigger to conjure an anti-Lightor Luminous Ward, and right trigger to summon an anti-Darktor Shadow Ward. Basic attacks performed within these wards are more eff efficacious against the aforementioned cactors. Pectors of other affinities may appear going forward, so keep your elemental wits about you. Right. So left trigger is anti-light. Left for anti... L for... L for anti-L. L for anti-L. Right. Okay, I mean, let's see how it goes. Uh, once again, we will only be getting 1,000 points. Well, definitely be wanting to put down the ward that enhances her basics. Here he comes. 
Wait, she's not... Why is she not doing the magical damage? What? Now I'm confused. Wait, she doesn't even have the one that enhances her basics. Huh. She's going melee only. Melee only air it for this challenge. Right. Okay, when she's in one of these, she can do this. I see. Well, we're getting absolutely fucked up, though. Jesus. I wish I could use spells. It sucks that I can't heal. I guess let's just re-up the Chrono Aegis. Bro, these suck. How am I supposed to deal with these guys? I guess I can Sorcerer Storm? Oh my god, dude. This sucks. This is not in any way fun. Wait, I need, I, I need to not be in a ward for these ones. I'm only halfway through the score, man. Oh, hello. Maybe this will do the trick. You'll see. Go on. Okay, if I kill him, then we get the 1,000, so that's alright. Just gotta actually kill him. Which is easier said than done. Hey, you asked for it. Oh, I didn't hit him? Come on. i keep my distance if I were you. Come on. Go on. Come on, you gotta die. Ten seconds, you've gotta die. There we go, there's one thousand. It's over. Weird. Really weird one. Aerith is not a battle character like that. That just it doesn't work at all for her. So it's weird that they'd force you to try and do it when it just doesn't. It just doesn't wow. feel good. It doesn't you still work. Me. And I still thought you might be no better than a bunch of bumbling bandits. Ta -da. It makes you do basic attacks, but it removes your ability to enhance your basic attacks. Like, what's the point in restricting her kit like that when that's not what she's about? We done now. <laughs> Not even close. You've still got two more pieces to collect, and they won't come easy. Ah, but I could use a bit of time to store up the next trial, seeing as you kind of breeze through the first two. How's about we put things on pause? Here, give me your contact info. That way, I can hit you up when the trial's good and ready. What? Why are we putting it on pause? Cloud? I think it would be wise to oblige his request. Hmm. Perfect. You'll be hearing from me soon. Did he just input Peace. his contact details while wearing boxing gloves? How? How, how did he manage to do that? For the time being, I'm afraid our only viable course of action is to await further instructions. That's weird. Every every previous proto relic has already always led straight to the next proto relic. Why, why is this one... Why are we blocked off from continuing this one? Strange. Oh, 
Oh well. Um, right. What's that? Little circle. Looks like a boss fight, maybe. I guess we go and get this tower now. We need to find the Tonbury King for that one side quest. I wonder if that's where that boss fight, what that will be, is that little area that looked like a boss fight arena. Hello. You're big. Weak to fire. Automatically becomes pressured after using that attack. Okay, we're gonna need some significant healing. This one's for you. Get him. Get away from me, dude! Fuck off, dude! Let me heal. Holy shit! This is ridiculous. Okay. There we go. Oh my god, it's such good healing though. Blocking, man. Go on. Jesus Christ, dude. Holy fuck! Can I can I do anything? That would be really cool to do anything. I'm dodging. Like, what what do you want me to do here? I'm literally dodging as hard as I can. How do I get up to it? I have to go from up here? Let's see. That's different. Straight down here. Whoa. Do I need to grapple to it? I see the grapple symbol. Thank you. 
Parents sometimes tell misbehaving children that Alexander might come and smite them if they refuse to shape up. Clap. Is this the third one? Can we fight Alexander now? That's gonna be a tough fight. That's gonna be a tough fucking fight. Phoenix was pretty hard. Oh boy. Circle X, circle, circle X, circle. But it's in random ass locations. Okay. Circle X, circle, circle X, circle. Circle X, circle, circle X, circle. Nice. We done did it. We done diddly did it. Well done. That concludes our thrilling analysis of the Corel Summon Crystals. <laughs> I can't really? tell you how grateful I am for everything you've helped me learn about Alexander. Thank you. Ah, though you have yet to obtain the requisite materia, as I recall, you'll first need to confront the Divine via the combat simulator. Yep, we will have to do that. We will do that once we complete the area, I guess. Oh, yoink. Right, uh, now where? So, this is all, we can go here. I guess this is the path down here. Because, like, this is all a cliff, so we can't go here. But our destination is down here, so I guess it's via right here. But instead of doing that, let's go and activate the final tower down there, shall we? We ain't main quest until the area is complete. Of course. I think everyone knows that by now. That is how I have decided to do this game. Which I think is for the best. Because I do feel like I would be missing out on quite a lot if I wasn't doing all of the stuff that I'm doing. So that's... So right and turn is the way to the main quest. Like all this stuff, like all this uh, Gilgamesh stuff, that's gotta, that's gotta end up in a fight with him, right? Can't imagine we do all this Gilgamesh stuff and then don't get to fight him at the end. So that'll be cool. Seems like you'd be completely missing out on that if you don't do all the proto relic bits. Wait, why is this just a dead end? What is, what is the purpose of this little cave? Oh, it's a fucking reactor, that's one. Dull. But not one that is available yet for whatever reason. I wonder why that is. Why have they blocked off doing more proto relic stuff? That seems strange. These fucking underground bitches. Weak to ice. Yeah. Calling ice. Dodging. Come on. Really? Bro, what am I supposed to do? This is stupid. I can't heal. Get ready. 
Bro, I'm literally dodging the best I can possibly dodge. This is stupid as fuck. Just wish I could. What a fucking moronic enemy. What a fucking dumb fucking enemy. What idiot designed this shit? Oh yeah, let's have it fucking do an unfucking dodgeable attack where it takes away both of your party members and you're left with your healer who can't do anything about it. Fucking genius. Absolute fucking genius. Someone promote this man. Are you serious, motherfucker? Fuck off. Horrible enemy. Awfully designed. Let's have it untargetable while it goes underground. And then let's have it take away both your teammates. And then let's have it so you can't get your teammates back unless you stagger them with your healer. Who doesn't do any fucking damage because they're the healer. We're so smart. We're so good at designing fucking enemies. Oh, yes. Oh, so good. Where the fuck is this... Ah, there's the Moogle thing of this realm. Alright. So I think this is a dead end, right? Well, maybe not. Maybe you can go further that way. It was a dead end for the car. We couldn't get the car up here, right? Unless... Oh no. We can in fact get the car up here, sure. Is that not an arena? Oh wait, no, this was the arena I thought I saw. This uh, this also looks like it could be an arena, but I guess not. Don't fall over. Anywhere else to swing to? Oh, over there. Sure, yeah, that's what I meant to do. What is this? My sensors 
indicate the presence of a unique life form. Chimera variant identified. Oh, Christ. Guidance protocol. A strange amalgamation of species. Well, it's exploit. Yeah, it's not even pressure. It's just exploit weakness, stagger, and defeat. This timing is likely no coincidence, as Mako Energy's adverse effects on creatures is well documented. Man, we need to fucking give Aerith more MP as well. Recently, however, appear to be those of an ancient ancestor to the modern Chimera. Scientists have since postulated that the being actually has prehistoric origins. Providence aside, the beast is a proven threat to any living near its ever expanding territory. Please take care while squaring off against this mysterious foe. And we're going to need MP as well, aren't we? Sure. It hurts to use them, but at the same time, we hardly ever use them normally, so I guess it's fine. Okay, so we just have to exploit, stagger, and defeat. We'll need to assess first. I believe in Piece of cake. Go on! Okay, weakness is fire, sure. And they automatically become pressured, the same as the other one. Okay. Ow. Ow, okay. Burn. Okay, he's become pressured. Don't Viper sting me right now, please. I beg of you. God damn it. Okay, you know what? I'm going to swap to Aerith and get some healing going. Holy shit, man got fucked. Okay, you have the highest stagger right now. Nice. you to heal our friend T for Teeth. Those guys are a bit scary. <laughs> a little bit scary. Ba -ba -da -ba -bum. Cloud, I've analyzed the data from your latest bout and graded your performance. You've earned a 10 out of 10. True. Cloud, apologies. My speaking out of turn. Pay her no mind. You get a 3 out of 10. I what? what? Those sound like questionable metrics. Never mind. We'll discuss this later. Cloud, I feel like a 10 out of 10 is justified. Trial for you. Why not give it a go? What's wrong with a 10 out of 10? I feel like we deserve that. Uh, okay, so... Uh, huh. I'm now realizing there's no good place to fast travel to out here, is there? down here. It's 
So I'm looking at the Tonbury thing over there. Is that just pointing me at the quest marker, or is that pointing me at where the actual Tonbury King is? I think it's just pointing me at the quest marker. Also, when it says steal and to deliver the Tonbury King's crown, is that saying steal as in just, you know, just to use it as a word? Or is it saying steal as in actually the game mechanic steal? Do I have to fight a Tonbury King and use steal on him to get his crown? I'm not sure whether it's using it as just a word to say, like, take it from him, or whether it's using it as specifically to say, like, you have to actually use steel materia on him kind of thing. I wonder. Hopefully, we don't have to use actual steel materia, but if we do, we do, I guess. There's three chests around this truck. What? Okay. Can't jump up on the roof, I guess. No? Okay. Where the fuck are the other chests then? <laughs> what? How far down do you go before you're no longer in the smuggler's truck location? Oh, well, there's one. And there's the other. Okay, I do think I need to go back up there, though, to get over there, right? It do be looking that way. Oh, it's so slow climbing these. Hop. 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 the comedy mushroom. <laughs> Love the comedy mushroom. I wonder why every bus stop in this region has the sign on the opposite side. <laughs> They've always been on the left before, and then in this region, every single one's on the right. Why? What is the reasoning? Clappers. Now, do we need to go up there, or is that just... No, that's just the way up to where we just were. Cool. Ignore that then. Lovely. Anyone else want to see what the Moogles are up to, Kupo? Did you just say Kupo? <laughs> Alright, how hard is this one going to be? They've been getting steadily harder. Bump. Ba -ba -da -bum -bum -bum. Would you mind rounding up all the mooglets for me? Sure thing. Okay, you look like you're the closest, so let's get you in first. You're very easy. Well, that was super easy. What the fuck? Why was that so easy? Uh oh. Bombs and bananas, huh? Get in there. Lovely. Oh, I almost stood in that. Can I not? Ah! Can I not? I, I think I can't run into these mushrooms either, right? Maybe? These mushrooms look kind of dangerous. Maybe not. Lovely. And last but not least, over there. Whee. Can't catch me. 
No, go in. Nice. Didn't get hit once. Easy You're game. Lifesaver, Koopo. Easy game. You're such a great help, Koopo. I know. Reward, I'll tell you the story of how Mog and Mag fell in love. It's so romantic. Even after Mog was fully grown, he still struggled to fly, but he never gave up. He kept on practicing. Undeterred. Like a chat. Eventually, Mag noticed how hard he was working and decided she would do everything in her power to support him. As time passed, the two became closer and closer until one day... They <laughs> fucked. I'll leave the rest to your imagination. He put his little Moogle dick... <laughs> oh, God. Can you imagine Moogles fucking? What the fuck? Anything interesting catch your eye, Koopo? Did they say Koopo after they mo... <laughs> okay, that's terrible. Uh, so, Fortune's Untold is Kate Sith skill points. Right, I forgot we can even use Kate Sith now, because I care so little about Kate Sith. But, uh, I guess we should probably try them out at some point. A device capable of detecting subterranean tremors. Huh. What does that do for me? It's a key item, apparently. Come again soon! It looks like a Chadley thing, right? It looks like the thing that we scan stuff with and then the arms flip out and Chadley comes up in the little screen. Hmm. But why is a fucking Moogle selling it? What? <laughs> okay, so we've got this is just over there somehow. How do we get to that? Not seeing a particularly clear path, maybe? Is there a way to climb up here? No. <laughs> vroom vroom, bitch. Around here, perhaps? Part my car right here on your sacred spring. <laughs> Just belching out fucking gas right on top of the sacred spring. Nice. Six more pips to go. The Rise of the Gold Saucer. The tale of the Gold Saucer began with a Shinra employee named Dio, who convinced the company to build, to build a museum called the Reliquary. Although it was doomed to failure, Dio was not to be deterred, and he set about founding the world's largest theme park, which he first conceived as a small-scale fairground. In the wake of the Corel Mako reactor explosion four years ago, plans were set in motion to revitalize the local economy. Hearing this, Dio decided to relocate his fairground to the region, eventually transforming it into a state-of-the-art entertainment complex. Now known as the Gold Saucer, it is powered by several modular reactors, which are responsible for the surrounding area's accelerated desertification. In light of this, the reactors are now run at minimum output in an attempt to mitigate further damage to the environment. You know how you mitigate the damage to the environment? You turn them off. And you, you stop the Gold Saucer, you know? Doesn't, doesn't, we don't need the Gold Saucer. We do kind of need a planet, you know? That'd be pretty good. That's never gonna happen though. There's money! Right, so we have done all of this area now. So. There are six pips left. Uh, three of which are there, there, and there. Is there any tower that I haven't done? 
I have done all the towers. No, I've done, yeah, it says in the bottom left. I've done all the towers. So what the fuck? There's six pips left on the overall Intel Gathered screen, but in the bottom left you can see there's only one combat assignment I haven't done, one life spring I haven't done, and two proto relics. So that's four pips. So where's the other two? Wait, this is also one of them, right? So that would be... That would be... Okay, so that would be an extra pip, because that doesn't show up in the bottom left. So when, then we'll, what's the final one, I guess? Hmm. Unsure, unsure. Let me just drive around here a little bit. Just to uh, get the map cleared up, because it is bugging me that there's this one random grey-ass section over here. That's got to have cleared up the map somewhat. Surely. Better. Needs to do a bit down there. Boom, 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 boom. There's one. Where are the others? Nothing down here. Okay, so they're not in this bit. a little bit at the edge here. The other maps were like so jam-packed together that by doing all the intel you pretty much hit everywhere on the map but this one is just so like big and expansive and deserty that there's a lot of spaces that you can just like go past without actually hitting. What to be down here? get to this section. Oh, this is absolutely a fight. Are you kidding me? That is such a fight arena. the look of that. You look scary. Oh, you're a fiend. Oh, uh, right. Yeah, what you said. Okay, well, there's a fiend here. I guess we'll do that. But, I guess we'll probably do it in the next part. That seems like we have, we have done a solid, like, hour-ish. On, on here and the last part so yeah we are we are getting pretty far through it it's definitely gonna take at least one more part because we've got to do the rest of the Intel stuff in addition to uh, this side quest and 
There's also a side quest in the Saucer, and there's a side quest in Corral, and we need to do the Queen's Blood and all that. So, yeah, we've got we've got a bit more to do. There's going to be at least one more part, maybe more, depending on how big the side quests are, because some of them have been, like, whole parts unto themselves. But we will see. But anyway, it won't be too much longer until we are heading down towards Gongaga, I guess. Uh, I thought we were going to be going to Cosmo Canyon next, but yeah, I guess we're doing Gongaga first, so that'll be interesting. Are we going to have to fight the fucking Triceratops tank thingy? Probably. If they put Hell House in, they can probably put the Triceratops thing in. <laughs> so uh, yeah, that'll be interesting. That'll be coming up fairly soon. But until then, that is all we have time for today. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, if you could leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Share the videos around. Share the playlist around if you can. I would really appreciate that. And I'll see you next time for more Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. Thanks for watching. See you then.